So today we're going to look at parameters in a SQL statement and why you will probably want to use them and how it will protect you. Before we get started, just a, a little plug if you like these kind of videos that um, go over you know, different topics in code, feel free to subscribe. By the way, other than, than these um, you know, tutorial videos, we are making a Flask web application. So if that interests you in any way, be sure to check that out. Um, so where we left off, we started talking about selecting and the fetch many, fetch all. I'm going to turn this back into fetch all instead of fetch many, uh, just because, you know, it makes more sense. And so I, I changed the select statement up a little bit. I said select from users where username is equal to, and then this username, and you might be wondering where we get username from, and right before this we have an input where I ask for a username. And if you don't remember, um, I actually ran this in the DB browser just uh, to play around. Of course, I knew how to write this. I was actually playing with some SQL injection. But if we look at the table, um, we have the username and the ID, and that's all we have. So if I enter the test, because that is one of the rows, right, where the user is test, let's go ahead and run that we expect to get one row back. And that makes sense. But what if we do something a little bit insidious where we do some SQL injection? And doing it this way, just adding it to the string, makes it possible. So if I did something like this, if I did is equal to test, and then I ended the uh, quotation, and then I said or one is equal to one, and then I comment out. And you might be wondering, what am I commenting out with this? I'm actually commenting out this quotation right here. It's no longer uh, a quote because it's commented out. And now it's saying test or one equals one. And basically, that makes it true because one always equals one. Long story short, it will return all of the rows. And just to prove it to you, let me hit enter. And you can see now we get all of the data in that table whether or not we had the username test. So you can see where a problem arises because we don't want users, when we ask for something and they give us something like SQL injection, we don't want them to be able to get a hold of all of the data in that table, right? That's obviously bad. So what I'm gonna end up doing is in between the single quotes, I'm going to put a question mark. And actually, I don't even need the single quotes anymore. I am just going to put a question mark. And you can think of this as a placeholder for the value that we're going to pass in. And so with the execute statement, okay, and the second parameter is going to be a tuple, and inside of that tuple are the values that we want to place where the question mark is. And in our case, there's only one question mark, so there's only going to be one value in that tuple. So I'm going to make the tuple and the first value and the only value is going to be username and then a comma to denote that it's a tuple. Okay, so now if you notice, let me run the same program, and then I will type the same statement, or one equals one, comment out. You can see nothing is returned. That's because it's using this whole thing and putting it in that placeholder, and it's not validating it as SQL. It's not valid SQL at this point. It doesn't take it as SQL, it takes it as text. And so now we don't have to worry about SQL injection. And that's why parameters are so powerful. So what if I did where username is this or ID is equal to this, right? What if we have more than one parameter? Well, I would just add it to the tuple. So let's say or ID is equal to two. And just to make sure we're getting the right thing, we should get user as well. So let's go ahead and save that and we'll run it as long as we put test. Now we get test and user. And that's how you pass in multiple parameters. And you can continue on you know, if you had more and more. Um, but in our case, we only have the two. So hopefully this made sense. And hopefully you guys will now use parameters from now on if you're you know, asking the users for 
<laughs> things such as usernames and, and whatever you may be prompting the user for that's going to look in the database for that, rather than just plain text like we should before. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.